There's been this question, okay, uh, that's been knocking around the web lately about is reactor four spent fuel pool, the whole thing a hoax, okay? Well, it's based on this one photo. And there is a, you know, I don't, I think, look, obviously the spent fuel pool is damaged horribly. We've seen all sorts of pictures, aerial shots of it. But the photo that's brought into question, there is a good point there. Something is not on the up and up. In uh, November 20th, to be exact, and NHK, that's the quasi-national television channel, you know, basically the state-run television network in Japan, a reporter went and was invited to spend steel pool number four. Uh, he donned all the safety gears, went in with a camera, and took a picture of the interior. And that's the picture that we see posted all around the web. Of like a spanking new spent fuel pool with, you know, uh, stainless steel, uh, metal panels and a very nice looking stuff and a gigantic green colored crane. It's a crane on tracks, on two tracks, you know. No, no, those photos are, the, yes, Yochi, those photos are old photos. That building is absolutely perfect inside. If you look at the walls, you don't well, see what, debris what I, damage. Okay. Now, now, NHK claims the reporter went in there and took the photo. What it probably is is of the new temporary uh, holding pool next to the old, uh, next to the damaged pool. Why? It, why? It, why, why it was not. When, when did they? Pool. When did they build a new temporary pool next to the original one? They, they do have a temporary pool there, but somehow you're right. The thing looks totally doctored. You know. Look what at the building. He, look at the look at the background shown? of the picture. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It doesn't look right. What was that NHK uh, reporter showing? Well, you could have, let's say, clad him up in a safety suit, right? Take him in a van and take him into another reactor building. Correct? Could have gone into five or six. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to suggest. This is not a photo of what's happening. In reactor four, the photo is somehow taken somewhere else. Okay, and since the NHK reporter was there, this was a bait and switch scheme. You know, this is pretty blatant bait and switch, right? You get the guy all dressed up; he can't see anything out of that suit, right? Put him in the, you drive him up somewhere; he doesn't know where he's going, and you put him up there, and you show them how well this operation is going. I'm, yeah, I'm, a, a I'm, I, you know, I, this is a media yeah. hoax, okay? They, they pull the hoax on the media, the bait and switch that TEPCO did to the state TV station, you know, to spread this lie that everything's under control. We rebuilt this place, you know, everything's going smoothly. And if they had to do that, why? And that could be the actual hoax. Mm -hmm. Maybe not a single fuel rod has come out of there at all. We have no idea what's going on. Thank you. Maybe and, all and, the numbers. Yeah. You know, see, you see what I'm saying here? Yeah. This could be a really big lie, a really major, big time lie, just to try to silence the critics, just to yeah. try to get the IAE off its back. And yeah. also, at a time when the Obama administration is asking, what happened to the war great plutonium we sent in the Cold War? Maybe it's a way to evade. That is the hilarious, of these, of by the, the way. The war great plutonium rise, yeah. okay? Yeah. yeah. Bait and switch, right? The reporter was there, you yeah? know? He was there. He saw this place, okay? And that's the only explanation. It's either I gotta be the building next to the thing or completely different buildings altogether. You look at the, look at the picture. Uh, I have the story, but it's the second yeah. story. And you look at that picture, please, yeah. at the top with that, uh, yeah. absolutely pristine, clean, green, horizontal crane that moves over the spent yeah. fuel pool, exactly. carries the fuel assemblies over the reactor, puts them in. It's all computer controlled, at least it was. Yeah. But now I want you to please look in the background. Uh, the reactor five. Look at the yeah. sides. Yeah. Look at the structure of the building. Does that building look like it's been through a, any kind of a blast or a, a problem in any way? It's perfect. Fire. Perfect. No yep. takers here, yep. folks. Yep. So, yeah, yeah. So the, they hoodwinked the NHK reporter in the future and all that. I don't know how many people were involved in this media fraud. But if that's the kind of fraud that we're getting out of the official, you know, out of TEPCO and the official media, I mean, can we believe anything? I mean, what's real, what's not? 
Okay? So that, that's where we're left. Uh, they're, they're claiming 260 rods have been removed so far. If so, they would be far ahead of schedule. I mean, something is not credible here, and it demands serious investigation, serious IAEA probe, a demand to send in uh, experts who've been to Chernobyl to go into that building and to drive the vehicle themselves into that building, okay? Okay. Drive your own yeah. vehicle if you're an IAEA inspector. You drive yourself in there because you don't need a license to drive inside EPCO. Just drive right. You just can't. Bring your international driver's license, okay? Yeah. And take over the wheel and go to the right building. And I guarantee you're not going to even be able to get inside because it's so radioactive. Okay. I want to ask all of you who, who give a hoot <laughs> to simply do a Google search and type in photos of Fukushima Reactor 4. Or just write, just type in Fukushima Reactor 4, the number 4, and then hit Images. Look at that destroyed building, and you tell me Mm -hmm. if the photo in that story looks even 20 light years close to what we're seeing in that picture. Nothing. There is no similarity whatsoever to that destroyed number 4 building and that picture. That picture is a fraud. Yeah, it's a different building. It's a different reactor altogether. Or it was before the and explosion years ago. And it was done by, it was done by a credible reporter who yeah. was completely hoodwinked, okay? Literally, be, you know, he had a, a safety suit on his body. You know, you couldn't see out, you know? He I was don't led, know. You know, it was but a dog you, and you, pony show. He was led by the nose, okay, through this thing. He had no idea pictures. what he was seeing. That's what's so dangerous here. That's what's yeah. so dangerous about allowing, when you have the regulator, and the promoter of nuclear power being the yeah. same ministry, yeah. Yeah. that's what happened. Yeah. That's exactly what happened when you don't have a, you know, independent regulatory system. You know, if we've been all lied to, man. This is a blatant, you know, this is just a sheer, blatant, shameless lie. And it's a lie which un- you know, just basically, it demolishes, undermines every so-called fact that comes out of Tesco. Nothing is credible. Nothing at all is credible. None of the water reading, you know, none of the aerial releases, none of the historical timeline, nothing hasn't been doctored probably, you know, if that's the case. This is the level. But this is how far they'll stoop. Nothing hasn't been doctored. That's our only conclusion. The whole investigation has got to be done again by government. And it's an argue, another argument for removing this pro-nuclear government we have in power in Japan right now, yeah. which is not easy. The, the Tokyo governor's election... We had the clear shot being, uh, anti-nuclear movement had the clear shot to basically have Tokyo, the, to- the, the city that Tokyo Electric Power serves and provides power to from Fukushima. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because, uh, it could have been won. The election could have been won by the anti-nuclear movement, but everything has been done to make sure that a pro-nuclear, uh, you know, a, a guy who's been ambivalent on nuclear power, but is actually pro-nuclear, will be the next governor to come perpetrate this fraud being put upon the people of Tokyo, of Japan, and of the world. Okay. It's uh, it's really amazing. I'm I'm looking at these pictures again right now, at uh, the blown yeah. building number four. The roof was yeah. blown off. Yeah. The, the superstructure is there. Yeah. You see blue sky. There's not. It's got. Gu- it's gutted. And they're trying to tell it's us this immaculate so picture yeah. is is is, yeah. is the uh, operation underway, removing these fuel rods, which were, by the way, yeah. observable. Now I might be wrong; it might have been uh, reactor building three, but one of the fuel pools was observable from helicopter photographs, and they they got close ups of the video, and they, and these there was junk and trash. The crane fell into spent yeah. fuel pool uh, number three or four. Can't remember which. I yeah. think it was number four because they can't even get in number three. It had to be four. They got they yeah. pulled the crane out. They pulled well, the other stuff. Yeah, out. yeah. Yeah. So anyway, it's, well, remember it's, when they demolished the outer building? They, they demolished the outer structure correct, around correct. spent fuel four yeah. because they're afraid the whole darn structure would collapse. It was so heavy. Yeah. Then it left hole. The interior was blown apart. It was not just a fire. It was. Like Explosion no, it's a huge spent explosion. Fuel pool area or, or in the building. There are holes. You could see parts of the spent fuel pool that were dangling. And we've already talked with engineers who said the place is mangled, okay? The, the structure around spent fuel pool is mangled, that the 
problem isn't just the spent fuel pool. The floor is cut. The thing you hold is tilt structure is tilting inside you, into itself. So you could not have built put a, a crane of that size. No. No, it's a, that, that photograph is immaculate. That photograph may have been taken 10 years ago. Yeah. We all know. No, no it's another know. building because the reporter saw the thing. You see? Got to the, the NHK reporter saw the thing. He reported out right away, and I'm sure he's a credible reporter. You know, he wouldn't have lied like that, the journalist. So you know, they took him to another building. They completely, this is real fraud. Okay, this is orchestrated, high-level orchestrated fraud at the highest levels of TEPCO, and of the Japanese Ministry, you know, yeah, the Ministry of Industry and Economy. This is just a, a travesty. It's just an insult to the public and the media was fooled. I mean, okay? We can't trust the numbers of what's come out of there, obviously. We know there are 200 new fuel rods with war-grade plutonium inside. They're desperate to cover that up, the very fact of that. Okay, they're desperate to cover that. So that is the uh, problem we have there with four. 